Hey family, good day to all of you. I'm excited coming into this video, family. Listen, I love y'all so much and I'm I'm just doing so much trying to pour into you because you got so many good things coming to you. I want you to know, family, that people will be intimidated by the way you think. You think so big and you think not in a box. You know, people put you in a box and you came busting out of that box. How you got out of that box? How do you kick that box down? How do you got out, how did you get out of that box by your thinking? You think outside of the norm. Did y'all know that? This is why people hate the fact. People can't figure out what is going on with you. How do you get from there? You taking leaps and bounds. Oh my goodness. You are taking leaps and you are taking bounds. You hear me? You are a leaping. You're doing long jumps. Yes, while people are sprinting, you are doing long jumps. The enemy will never be able to get close to you to destroy you. You hear me, family? The enemy will never be able to get close enough to destroy you. It doesn't matter how much heat you feel on your back. It doesn't matter how much heat and fire that you feel that that enemy is breathing down your neck. He'll never be able to get close enough to you to destroy you. You are so, so valuable to this world. You are so valuable to what God has in store for you. You intimidate people by your thinking. You think higher. You don't think normal. You don't. You think outside of that box that people put you in. Life put you in a box. Life told you what you could never be. Life told you what you could never become. Life told you you weren't lovable. Bankruptcy told you you would never come back from this. But the devil is a liar. You came busting out of that box. And people hate the fact that they couldn't confine you to that box. They'll never be able to confine the child of God to that box. They can't confine you. They tried to put a cap over you. They shut your mouth up. They tried to put you in a box. They close your spirit up. And then they tried to tape that box. Didn't think you could find your way out of it. Yeah, and throw you in a corner. Thought they trapped you. Oh, but the power of God that's down on the inside of you. You came busting out of that box. You begin to think. You begin to think things over. Why you had, why people put you in that box. And you begin to talk to yourself. Oh, it's powerful, powerful to talk to yourself. Yes, yeah, some people may think you're crazy, but let people think you're crazy. When people see the blessings of God upon your life, when people see where you come from, when people see you walking out, Whatever you told them that you were going to walk out, when people start seeing you manifest that vision and dream that God put on the inside of you, they're going to think different about you. And that is going to cause people to fear you. That means they're going to respect you, family of God. You're going to, you're going to cause fear to come upon people because they're going to know what kind of power you have on the inside of you. Your thinking is so powerful. Listen, your life is not predicated on one person not liking you. Listen, family. Your life is predicated on what the word of God says about you and who you can become and what you can do. Your life isn't predicated on one evil person that tries to jinx you, hex you, and, and put a spell on you, a word curse. Are you kidding me? It's not going to prosper, family of God. All people do is elevate you. This is why people are sick to their stomach. They're literally sick to their stomach. People are being emotionally sick because they're so stressed out now. People are so stressed out trying to figure out the power that you have and you hold. What is it about you that you can't be destroyed no matter what they do, how they come for you, that you can't be destroyed? You are undestroyable. You're unbreakable. You're going to always destroy every chain that people try to lock you in. You're going to always kick a box open. People try to confine you to a box. Don't let anybody confine you to a box tell you you can only do this and you can only do that in life you can do whatever you want to do you can become whatever you want to become you can be whoever you want to be you can you got to believe that you have to believe that it doesn't matter where you come from where you been what you didn't get in your childhood who you wanted to give it who you wanted that love to come from and they didn't give it to you it doesn't matter God is not going to leave you without it listen to me it doesn't matter who didn't give you what you thought you needed. It doesn't matter if it was a parent, a spouse, a child, a friend. It doesn't matter who it was, what it was that didn't give you that. God is not going to let you stay without it. That is good news to your ears. You are not going to go without it. Your life 
and how far you go in this life is not predicated on one person hating your guts. It's not predicated on one person not liking you. It is not predicated on one person beating down your self-esteem. People try to beat your self-esteem down, family, because you're too confident. And they knew, they knew when you make up in your mind, you can be what you wanted to do, do and become. Did you know that? People know you in the spirit. People know it. People know you can make it. Don't share too much of your story if God don't lead you. Don't share too much. We are in a season where we are to be quiet. You have to be quiet. You got to be silent. And you got to train yourself. You got to discipline yourself. Not to talk so much. Not to share so much. You don't only share what God tells you to share. You're not safe with everybody. Your dreams aren't safe with everybody. Your vision that God showed you, that vision is not safe with everybody. It is not. Your gift isn't safe with everybody. God will lead you. He'll show you where you're safe. I am so proud of you, family. You are taking leaps and bounds. While other people are crawling in life, you're taking leaps and bounds. You are taking leaps and bounds. While other people are crawling. They tried to put you in a box to define who you were. So you would never find out who you were. That's one of the greatest mistakes that Satan made. He should have destroyed you when he had the chance. He should have took you out when he had the chance. Now that God has snatched you out of the snare of the fowler, glory be to God. He can forget it. He can hang up his tricks. He can hang up his hat. Satan can hang up whatever he has going on because no matter what weapon he throw, it's not going to prosper you. You stay on your knees. You stay in the presence of God. You stay prayerful because prayer is going to keep you. While everything fails, your prayer life is going to keep you. You remember this. Your life, how far you go, what you obtain, how high you obtain in this world, what success, what success that you have is never predicated on a person. It's never predicated on one opinion of other people. Never. Your life is predicated on what God says you will become. Your life is predicated on God, his word, and the rhema word that he's spoken over your life. You intimidate people with your strength. You intimidate people with the knowledge and the wisdom and the understanding that you have. You intimidate people, and people will come for your self-esteem. Don't let people come for your self-esteem and be successful. Learn to love you. Learn to love everything about you. Learn to look at yourself in the mirror and love yourself. Y'all hear me? You look at yourself in the mirror and you tell yourself how powerful and beautiful you are. You tell yourself that. It was a point in my life when I was growing up, my, mom, my mommy made me do that. I was going through a rough patch in my life and that was very hard for me to do. Y'all hear me today? Oh my God, God's going to give you some good people to mentor you along the way. You tell yourself every day. That I am powerful, I am mighty, I am strong, I am love, I am well able, I am the head, I am not the tail, I am above, I will never be beneath again, I am lovable, I am kind and I am nurturing. You affirm your life every day, whatever you affirm, God is going to confirm that, you remember that, whatever you affirm in your life daily, God is going to confirm that. They couldn't put you in a box and you stay there. People try to define who you were because they knew that you were something special. People know when you're special and they hate your specialness. They hate your uniqueness. But don't be afraid to show the world who you are. Never be afraid to show people your uniqueness. Don't ever, family, try to conform to what people want you to be. Be who you are so that you can draw authentic people. Whenever you try to make somebody believe who you are, believe you're something that you're not you're only going to get fake people you won't get people who honor you you won't get people who respect you you will never get people who value you family of God you hear me today souls of God people couldn't confine you who, for who you were had you in a box thought you was going to stay there oh my goodness you have resurrection power down on the inside of your family of God you're going to bring fear upon people you are you're going to bring fear upon people because they're going to know there's something special about you. People are going to be afraid to come for you. Because God is going to start letting things happen to people. And they're going to know why things are happening to them. 
the moment that things put in people put in motion, listen. The moment that people start putting things in motion to do that's not so nice toward you, that is the very moment that God is going to put in motion for things that's not going to be so good for them. God is a God of love, but God is a God of wrath too. That means you never want God to get upset with you. The word of God says he's wrath. He got upset. God had an attitude during the scriptures. Read your word, read your, word, read your Bible, because this is where success is going to come from nowhere else we find out who we are through the word not people see when people try to tell you who you are you can only live up to that for a minute and you're going to be miserable doing it that's what it means to confine you to a box be who you are be your authentic self so god can draw authentic people to you you can't bust it out of that box people try to put you in a box to confine you oh the devil is a liar family of god your life would never be predicated on other people. That's why you never have to worry and concern yourself about the opinions of people because it don't matter. So don't allow it to matter to you. Let them have their opinion. Always give people the grace and the freedom and the liberty to have their own opinion. But if their opinion of you does not line up to what God says about you, you got to reject that. Reject it every time. There's only you. So you live out an authentic version of who God made you. You be authentic in everything that you do. You, you live from your heart space. Nothing but good things will come. And sometimes you, you'll get hit in life. We will. But God is going to be right there to pull you out. He's going to pull you out every time. Because God's word is his bond. And whatever he says, he's going to do it. If he spoke it, he's going to bring it to pass. You don't have to worry about it. You don't have to worry about if it's going to come to pass. God's going to prove that to you. He's going to prove to you that things are going to happen just like he said they were going to happen. You are no longer in a box that people put you in. Go do good things in this world. You're not in a box. And you don't live by people's opinion. You don't allow it to be the GPS of your life, the opinions of other people. No, 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 family. You live authentically from your heart. And you live by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. Now the word of God comes out of your mouth. His spirit is within you. So speak the word of God. Speak things, the word tells us, that be not as if it already were. You speak life over your situations that is dead. And you watch God resurrect that thing. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of your family. I want you to stay inspired. I want you to stay motivated, and I want you to encourage, your, encourage yourself in the things of God. Keep looking forward, because this is where your future is, not behind you. These are lessons. Don't turn back. Don't you ever turn back. And don't you desire what you had. Don't desire what was, because God has better. God keeps blessing you, just like he carries us from faith to faith to glory to glory. The blessings of God get better. And they get better and they get better. Declare today, affirm it in the comments that my life will get better and better and better. Every day, my life is going to get better. Every day, my life is going to get better. Why don't you type that and affirm it in the comments that my life is not predicated on how people feel about me. My life is not predicated on what people won't do for me. My life is not predicated on how somebody has treated me. My life is not predicated on who forsook me, who left me, who, who dropped me, who tried to kill my self-esteem. Never let the enemy take your self-esteem and your self-respect. Keep that self-respect. You wear it because you are powerful people and you're so, so kind and you're loving. And God has good things for you. We love your family. We're going to talk later if it be the will of the Lord. Thank y'all for supporting the book. I'm grateful to God for all of your testimonies. Thank y'all so much. By faith, I believe and receive. Nothing but good things are going to happen to you. It doesn't matter what you get in when you belong to God. He's going to snatch you out of the snare of the fowler. He is. No evil shall come nigh. Your dwelling place. I thank God that the angels of God will be there for you today. The angels of God employ your angels they're waiting they're with you i love you we're gonna keep going we're gonna keep going and you're gonna run on and you're gonna see what the end is gonna be because your end is gonna be that of hope and it's gonna be that expected end that you're expecting all right family no crying 
unless it's tears of joy. No crying unless they're tears of joy. I love you. Don't forget to like our videos and share them. Thank you for subscribing. If you're new, welcome to our channel. We're glad you're here. Here, we're all about our faith and we're all about being the greatest version of ourselves that God said that we can become. We're all about healing. We have to heal. We're all about healing and self-love because we can be no help to anybody if we're a broken family because we can't give away what we don't have. Some of you are bleeding. Some of you are hemorrhaging in your spirit and in your emotions. And I declare today that God is going to heal you everywhere that you hurt. God is going to bring peace to your mind. God is going to heal your brokenness. And God is going to give you the courage and the tenacity. Continue to go forward. You keep going. You keep going and don't you ever give up. It doesn't matter what hit you. You get back up. You be like that energizer bunny. You keep going and you keep going and you keep going. And when God sees that you're not going to quit, he's going to relieve that. Whatever you're going through with, God going to give you release. God's going to give you release today. You think he's not coming? He's coming. Wait on him. He's going to renew your strength. He's going to renew your strength. Whenever you think you can't take it, God going to feel you. He's going to renew your strength. We're going to talk later if it be the will of the Lord. Love y'all so much, family. Keep going.